plaintiff Mary Myers says she was a drug addict for 20 years and she started dating the defendant after they met in recovery eight and a half years ago. Mary claims the defendant started beating her and it happened at least five times while they were together. Mary's suing her ex for stolen property. Defendant Princeton Monroe insists Mary is the violent one who constantly made false allegations against him to the police. Princeton claims he was only arrested once, but the charges were dropped because Mary never showed up for court. He's countersuing for unreturned property. Start with you. Um, I met Mr. Monroe around eight and a half years ago. Uh, we're both in recovery. Uh, I do have 10 years and eight months clean. Wow, that's a long time. Oh, Great. yes, God has been good to me. Mm -hmm. He's been really good to me. How long were you um, on drugs? Addicted. Probably around 20 years. I used um, cocaine, crack, Okay, alcohol. so you were addicted to crack? Okay. Yes, sir. And what caused you to change? I just finally got tired of it. You know, you got tired, I got arrested. That's what changed. And then... All right, that's, that's what happened. I, but arrested. I mean, I had been re arrested before and I never changed. But the last time that I did, I got a... All say, right, what do you want to tell me about the defendant? Okay. How do you all know each other? We met in recovery, and we had a lot in common. We like to do this, a lot of the same things. We like to travel. We like music. Uh, about three years in, in our relationship, he got kind of jealous, and um, he started being real physical, asking me questions, what you doing, where you going, who you with. He pulled up on certain gentlemen in the fellowship, you know. Um, That's not true, Your Honor. The only time I did that was when she told me to, that somebody was bothering her, and so I thought I had to protect her. That's when I would talk to another individual and it go to no, whatever. No, sir. This has right. been a couple of... What else you want to tell me about your relationship okay, and when um, you broke up and why? Okay. He cheated on me a couple of times. The first time he moved in with a female, he told me they were just roommates and stuff, but she physically attacked me. We had to go to court for it. Uh, another female physically attacked me. I had to take them to court. Um, he physically attacked me on numerous occasions, probably about five within our relationship. It's not true. And um, mm -hmm. when he did, I called the police, and the only reason why I didn't press charges because I had, like, invest... I didn't really want him to be in mm -hmm. a big trouble. Yeah. And it wasn't... I wasn't in the hospital. Okay. But he would... And he, when was the last time? The last time was September. Wow. Was he arrested? Uh, I called the police, and he left my house before then, so I don't okay. know for sure. I know sir? they got him. I don't know if they All right. Let me hear from you, sir. Yeah, uh, I was arrested because of a false report, though. Okay. It was thrown out because she never showed up. That was your only time? Yes, that was the only time that... That's not true, sir. All the other times... That is not you true. You just said it was the only time. No, only time say what I'm saying. That is not true. All the only times that she would call the police, no. they would never do anything. All right, but they came. Oh, they came, That's sure. That's what we're yeah. talking about. Go well, she's, she's trying to pretend that, or trying to make it look like I'm a, a violent person when he she's is. actually the violent person. No, I am not. Uh, in fact, um, she's setting you up. Yeah, she did. She did. She, uh, okay, she... hold on. When did she first start setting you up? Maybe back in, um, it started maybe about 2009. Okay, so since 2009, she's been setting you up to get you in jail. Yes. No. And you've stuck with a woman that's trying to set you up and send you to prison, and you just keep coming back. Okay, Your Honor, I would fall for her apologies all the time, every time, okay, except the last enough. time. But right. prior to that, it, I wouldn't go right back. What I, point did you determine, and maybe you don't know by now, that her apologies were insincere? <laughs> it would be missed for a period of time, and then it'll happen again. Your Honor, that's Oh, you not never true. were convinced that they're insincere? I wasn't then, but I am now. You are now. I am now. All right. What it took? What I'm I... a slow learner, I guess, but it took a oh, while. Oh, okay. I know now. Good enough. All right. And what else you want to tell me about the relationship? Well, uh, that she's a chronic liar, and she's a very, very controlling woman. And when she doesn't get her way, that's when the police would come up in the first place. She thinks everybody that's has to cater true, to your her, honor. and everything is about her. No. Okay. So, so your stolen property you're suing him for nine hundred dollars. How does he owe you for that? Okay, he owes me for this. And and what I want to say also, Your Honor, is that he's also stole medication from me that the doctor prescribed because I had back surgery. 
So he's still using illegal drugs. That's what I'm thinking. And it's, because it's, he's right. because not only that, Judge Mathis, I've seen him in my house and on numerous of times snorting something in a straw. I told That's him that I I'm in, and he already knows I'm in recovery. And you approached him about it? Yes, I did. I did said I'm in re recovery. So I don't did she do approach that. you about snorting something? In no, you know? she didn't. Yes, no, no. I did. Yes, I did. He's, yeah. he, he's she's, telling so a lie. So she's making that up too. She's make, yeah, she's making. No, right, so why do you keep accusing him of all these felonies, sir? It's because it's the truth. I do have tr uh, proof where he did attack me. I do have where I was abused. You see it? Who um, was this? Who I was, did have which surgery. Time, which time was this? Um, this was the last time. And because I had back surgery, and the thing about it, Judge Mathis, Princeton has had pancreatitis. He has high blood pressure. He has all these things going on with him. I'm a pretty healthy lady, but I did have sciatica. Do you have any idea about these bruises? I, I know she bruises. She's had some kind of... Uh, Condition where no, she bruises real easily. Okay. She hits her leg. No, no, she hits. No, she. I don't. I don't know anything about that, Your Honor. All right, just she say hits that. her legs on stuff all the time, and I see bruises on her all the time, all, all the right. time. Your Honor, he pushed me property. very, very hard. Let's get I to just the stolen hit. property. Okay. Um, once Princeton left my house when the police came and he had to go, um, I went upstairs in the room where he had a lot of his things at, and I'm going, I'm looking, and right on top is a pawn receipt, a pawn ticket. For, and it says women's diamond ring on it. So when I look at it, I'm like, I know he didn't have any diamond rings, but I did find the uh, this, and I called him immediately. And I said, why would you... Did uh, you pawn a thing, sir? Actually, I did pawn a ring, but it, it wasn't why? hers. Yes, it was. Because she left town that day. She was supposed to give, leave some money. I, I, she left town right. just being uh, mm -hmm. the way that she is. Mm -hmm. I saw that ring. It, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was in my mm -hmm. man cave. Mm -hmm. I took it to see if it was worth anything. Mm -hmm. They gave me ninety dollars. I mean, eighty dollars for it. Why did you take her ring? That wasn't her ring. Yes, it was. It wasn't. It, she says ring it's her. Was it? I don't know whose ring it was, but it wasn't hers. <laughs> oh, sir, sir, no, you're sounding she, no, no, no. You're sounding more and more like a dope fiend. I tried to give you a crackhead behind a chance <laughs> without having to do this. I tried not to call you a crackhead, but you're acting like one. People in recovery, I give them a second chance. I refer to them as recovering addicts. But you come in here with these dope fiend ways. It wasn't her ring. Whose ring was it then that you pawned? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I didn't hear that. She bruises easily. About three years in, in our relationship, he got kind of jealous. He started being real physical, asking me questions, what you doing, where you going, who you with. That's not true, Your Honor. The only time I did that was when she told me to, that somebody was bothering her, and so I thought I had to protect her. Plaintiff Mary Myers dated the defendant, and she claims she had him arrested after he assaulted her. But the defendant insists the charges were dropped because Mary never showed up for court. Tell me about the, stud, the other stolen property, now. Okay, Your Honor, when so I, I saw that... So I get this dope out of here. Go ahead. I went Why? to look for my cameras, so I didn't know where they were, so I called them, and he said they were in storage, so I went to my storage. They're not in there. And he obviously stole them. He obviously probably pawned them or sold them. What do you say to that, sir? Your Honor, I take offense to her trying to say that... Sir, I'm... just answer the question. Did you take her camcorder? No, I did not. Very good, because I do know you took a ring out of the house that you claim you don't know who it belonged to, and you pawned it. You took someone else's ring, and you took it to the pawn shop and got $88. Oh. So, let's move on, sir. Your counterclaim is for $2,700 for unreturned property. Sir, That's I'm not right. gonna keep letting you insult my intelligence. Go ahead, tell me about the unreturned property. Your Honor, when, when I was arrested that last time, okay, I decided that it's gonna have to be over. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't go back to the to the, where Mary mm -hmm. lived. And uh, when I asked her, to, that, can I come get my property? And she said no. She said no because of of the ring. All right, where's his property, ma'am? It I do have it, I brought it here. Okay, with me. very good. Yes, so I, I did. I'm gonna go and get his property. What property is it, sir? I had uh, one leather coat for seven hundred dollars. Two leather coats were five hundred dollars. And none of them coats. And five oh. leather coats were okay. oh, two hundred. Total how many coats? So eight coats. All right. Eight you leather have coats. eight coats. Your, Your Honor, I brought right. seven. Why don't you go and get those coats? I bought seven. <laughs> okay. 
He didn't have that much coats. I bought everything, all the coats that he had. Right, and but if not you bought them for him, they're still his, Yes, ma'am. they you are his, and he can him. have them. I and didn't... sir, you can get mad, but a man come in here, this woman called the police on him for assaulting her. She shows me bruises. You come in here talking like a dope fiend, stealing this woman's ring and taking it to the pawn shop and then say, it wasn't her ring. Well, whose ring was it? I don't know. Man, you think I'm gonna let you come in here and talk like you a crackhead and not call you one? Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff regarding your stolen property. Thank you. Uh, there go your coat. Uh, there go your coat. You know, I didn't lie on you. You stole my rings and everything. These are not even... Whatever. These aren't even the coats. You can... These are, these are not the coats. Mary, number one, you know... Those are your coats. You stole my ring. You and you stole my... No. No, you, you stole it. Thing. You've been snorting you know stuff in that. my house. That's I don't know nothing about it. Drugs. I do recovery. I do recovery, and he stole them. Clean for, oh, no. 19 years then of one why month. don't you do meetings? And, and none of these... I don't... Are these, none of the those are not your coats? They're my coats. Okay, then. They're my coats. I gotta go. I'm not going in.